more on this, let's bring in Dr. Samin Yadar. He is the director of the Levant Institute for Strategic Affairs. He joins us now live from Beirut. Sami, always good to have you on the show. Um, you know, when you look at the current situation, I'm sorry to say this, but uh, it, it's painful to say this, but um, it seems like power, it seems like electricity has become, rapidly become, a luxury. Yes, definitely, because uh, this uh, sector is in crisis, and the major reason for that is the uh, corruption that is eating the the whole uh, system. Now, this project that uh, actually to 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 import uh, gas and electricity from Jordan and Egypt uh, via Syria is in fact a project that. Uh, was prepared uh, by, and by the IMF like three years ago, but it was facing a major obstacle, which, uh, which is the uh, Syria Accountability Act. So uh, what the, the game changer today is that the U.S. Uh, agreed to waiver the sanction partially uh, in order to, uh, for this uh, deal to pass. And this deal would, is, in fact, a win-win agreement for everyone. Egypt uh, uh, confirmed its role at, uh, as a, a platform for energy, something uh, uh, she, uh, Egypt was uh, uh, trying to work on for the last uh, decade. Uh, uh, Jordan is uh, uh, exporting electricity in exchange of uh, foreign currency, something uh, it is in bad, uh, uh, Jordan is in bad need of. Uh, Syria accomplish uh, uh, a diplomatic success in that sense. There is a kind of a rapprochement with uh, Arab state like uh, Egypt and Jordan, but more importantly, it's b it's breaking partially the sanction. And uh, Lebanon is a, a big winner if this project is to uh, implement it, because uh, as you said, uh, 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 Lebanon is on the brink of uh, total darkness. Yeah, Sabi, and I, this is the, I understand the only that. Way I mean, it doesn't. Uh, the, I understand how, how you are sort of categorize this as, as a win-win situation, but one of the main reasons why Lebanon is sort of grappling with a, with a crippling energy crisis is because, let's not forget, of its dependency on, on, on fuel and energy imports. This doesn't seem like um, uh, to take it away from it, does it? Uh, yes, this is not a sustainable and long-term solution. A sustainable and long-term solution should be for Lebanon to build its own electricity plant and to develop uh, a solar uh, uh, energy uh, infrastructure. However, uh, this is a short-term relief because this is the only available uh, option. Uh, given the fact that Lebanon is producing uh, uh, its electricity today out of fuel, uh, fuel which is uh, very uh, polluting and very uh, expensive so this is a, is a, an alternative and most importantly uh, this uh, alternative comes f with a financing from the world bank because this is uh, w th th this is the most important part uh, lebanon has no uh, more liquidity to pay its uh, uh, energy bill and uh, uh, if the IMF has been preparing this, is because it, is pr it goes with it uh, a financial loan from the World Bank in order to uh, finance uh, this project. Sabinader, always a pleasure having you on the news hour. I do appreciate the analysis. Thank you.